Hi, I'm Mr. Charlie. Today we're going to see how to record a Digitact into Ableton Live using the new Overbridge 2 plugin. So, first install the plugin. You'll find it on the Electron site. Then, drag it to a MIDI track. And you'll see, right here, Digitact selected. Sync, clock and transport. This is important. That's what keeps everything synchronized. When you press start and stop in Ableton, it will start and stop your Digitact. Also, make sure delay compensation is uh, selected. That will compensate for delay. OK, close this. We don't need it anymore today. And next thing, down here, we want to go to the settings, and then system, and then USB config, and make sure overbridge is selected. OK? Uh, that it won't work without that. You have a USB cable going between your Mac and your Digitact, and you need to tell it to use Overbridge. So, so let's go out. Uh, we have to go to Settings, then down to System, then USB Config, and make sure Overbridge is selected. And this tells the Digitact that it needs to talk to the Overbridge plugin on your Mac via the USB cable, which you have already plugged in. OK, good. Now, back to the Mac. Uh, the Digitact is plugin is now on this first uh, first channel, so we can select Digitact as an input from our regular audio input section, and then you can choose uh, which track you want to record. Now the Digitact has eight tracks, so you've got all of them there. Um, you can have eight channels, eight tracks in in Ableton, and record all of these simultaneously, which is very cool. The input records anything that's plugged into the inputs of the Digitac box. So a guitar, um, uh, you know, synthesizer, anything like that that's plugged in, you can record straight through. That means you can use the Digitac as an audio interface, which is kind of cool, and it, it does a good job of that. Uh, that's for individual tracks. Up here, uh, these are the options if you want to record the, the stereo output, so like all of the channels together, um, the mix that you would normally hear through the uh, analog audio outputs. Uh, that's handy, and we'll come to that later because we're gonna that actually you're gonna need that if you want to record uh, effects. Um, so we shall choose some tracks. One is where my kick is. Seven is where I have a piano. A Rhodes. We will oh, let's switch that off. We will set these to record. Uh, record arm and. Well, that's it. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Neat. So you see, it starts in sync. Uh, if we look at our clips here, that they're great. They're perfect, in fact. Let's make that one look a bit bigger, a bit louder. Um, there was a bit of a mess up at the beginning of that recording, you might have heard. That's because I have everything going into a mixer as well. And we, you heard the Digitact and you heard the uh, input, and you also heard the analog mixer input. So sorry about that. Um, anyway, if we press play, you see it's all working great. But what we do have is, well, we have both of our recorded loops. And then we also have an input coming in through the uh, Digitac still. So there's two things we can do there. We can either just mute it. That's my preferred option. And then when you press play. You only hear the recorded. Uh, you only hear what you're playing back. Uh, if, you look at the, if you look at the camera, when I press play, it still starts the Digitac playing. It's just muted so you don't hear it now. If you prefer, you can uh, go to the plugin and switch that off. Then when you press play, nothing happens down here. It doesn't, it doesn't start playing. Uh, and that's cool, but if you see when you flick, if you click away, you can't see the plugin anymore. So say you suddenly wanted it back to record, well, you've got to go back to the Digitac channel and then re-enable it. Whereas wherever I am in Ableton, 
I can always see this. So I prefer to do it that way. Um, that's cool. Now, listen to, uh, let's put this back on for a second and mute these. And yeah, so listen. You see, we've got an echo on there. Now, what happens if we record that? Uh, let's do another audio channel. Let's do track six, because that's where that is. And, uh, well, let's record, let's record that loop. Uh, into, what will happen there? Ah, okay, we're in the wrong place, no problem. So let's just do, well, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just record it to here. So let's track six and we record, good. Okay, so we would like to hear mm -hmm. why are we hearing that? What have I done? What have I messed up now? Ah, it's not switched on this way. You hear that? Compare that to two. See, so there's no echo. No delay. So why is that? That's because uh, on the Digitact, the um, delay and reverb are send effects. Now, what's a send effect? Imagine that you had a, a, a separate um, delay pedal or box plugged in, and you sent uh, each of these channels. You would uh, send what uh, you could send them out to that um, that reverb box to to add reverb, and then it would return. Uh, the affected sound, the nice, the, the nice reverbs, and then you record them on a separate track. Um, that's how it works in in uh, in the Digitact. The send effects are, well, let's just take a quick look. Uh, if we are in here, so each of these are the dry tracks. So that track one is just the uh, just that you hear the 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 kick um, with no reverb on it. Uh, if you want to record the, um, the the sound with the effects, then you need to record. Well, okay. Look, I'm just going to demonstrate because it's a bit easier. So we do uh, Digitact again. Then we will choose uh, one of these, which records everything. Okay, so uh, you have pre effects, post effects, post mixer. This, we, we, this, these refer to effects inside Ableton. So we just want pre. We, we just want the clean signal coming in. Uh, we will arm that. And then we will record. Now, you might be wondering. That's cool and all. But well, let's just solo this one so it's all we hear. Ah. It's recorded everything, all eight of the channels, of course, because it's this is the uh, the main out. So there's two things you can do. You can just mute everything except the one you want to record, and that works fine. Okay, there's no there's not monitoring. That's fine. There we go. I think that's probably all of it. So now, ah uh, yeah, we have a. Uh, Oops. See? It's recorded the echoes as well, or the, the delay, uh, well, yeah, the echoes. So that's neat. Uh, that is probably the, well, that's the only way you can record a track with its, uh, with its reverb and de uh, delay added to it. That's, you have to just mute everything else and then record the whole output. And that's the end of part one. We've seen how to connect the Digitact and Ableton Live via Overbridge how to record our dry tracks in sync individually, and how to record them with a reverb and their effects baked in. In part two, we'll see how to record these effects on their own separate track in live, and learn some neat arrangement tricks.